How you guys doing? I am doing awesome, by the way. Uh, I got a lot of stuff done this morning. Uh, number one was to get up, make my coffee. That was successful. Uh, and then I edited with uh, Sunny on my lap for an hour and a bit. And then the rest of the morning was getting the next log already uploaded and uh, uh, ready and prepared for tomorrow's editing, which will be much faster than I have everything all organized. Uh, and then after that, I had to call my bookkeeper and we're trying to figure out, so the book uh, keeping software that uh, we use online, for some reason, uh, disconnected from my bank and I couldn't personally figure out how to reattach it. Uh, I, I called the company, they helped walk me through it. The first person, this is like two months ago, I started trying to fix this problem. And uh, we would get to a certain point and they either couldn't help me anymore for whatever reason. And then I would go to my bank because they said, oh, it's, it's in your bank, your bank is the problem. Uh, it's stopping the software from hooking up to the bank. So I took my laptop to the bank try to walk through it with the steps of the guy at the bank. He had no idea how to do it, so that was another dead end. And then, you know, Carol and I would go away, and then days would go by, weeks would go by, and uh, obviously a month and a half, two months have gone by, and I finally today got that perfect person that works at the software company to like really engage with the problem and fix the problem with me. So we shared our screen uh, with the software going and uh, she figured out that if we went and went into a, open the so we're in the browser in the software she said go incognito so we open a new tab incognito went into my bank account uh, after several tries trying to get into my bank account and I just kept failing 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 and then you start to think in your head Am I like putting in the wrong password? Am I putting in the wrong account number? Like what is going on? Uh, and she said, you know, try not to do a copy paste because sometimes that causes problems. But typing in your numbers over and over and over again because it keeps failing, it just drives you nuts. So you just want to copy paste. And uh, so we, she finally figured out to go into the software incognito in one tab open another incognito tab, go into the bank account, uh, but first go into the bank account through my phone because she really wanted to know also if I needed to be putting in a user name as opposed to my client card number because she said she had the same kind of situation last week with another person uh, and for some reason they forgot that they used to go into it with a username not the number and so once they figure that out she would be able to hook up her bank accounts so I had the two tabs opening cognito bookkeeping software and bank account uh, went try to get into the bank account through the mobile app did that successfully and then when we did that I don't know what happened it triggered something Plus, I think the whole incognito thing, because she says sometimes cookies leave these residual, I don't know, bad information in your browser. And I guess you could clear all your cookies, but that messes up everything else too sometimes. So she figured it out and it was so awesome. I'm like, you are getting 10 stars on my review uh, of your performance review. Super calm, super intelligent, knew a lot of ways on how to fix things uh, and I again I've talked to several people from the same company and they dropped the ball like I wish I could go back and uh, send a review in and information as to why that didn't work or whatever but this girl she loves problems or this woman loves problems and loves to solve it she was actually thanking me for being as patient as I was because it's frustrating. You're trying to run a business and I got other things I need to be doing and I needed to be editing. I need to be doing uh, a lot of other invoicing and things. And here I am stuck on the phone for probably an a good hour 
stuck on the phone trying to fix something that I've been trying to fix for a long time and finally she fixed it I'm like you are the best and so when I did the review I said you need more of her because uh, she did not get off the phone until she solved the problem with me and she was patient I was patient very professional very thorough awesome so now I'm all good so now I can continue doing my bookkeeping on my end my bookkeeper can continue doing her bookkeeping on her end and everything is fine and dandy uh, last night that's a segue last night uh, I had the rest of my salmon I, I totally when I got home after showing Carol the tinted windows and all that I cooked up half the salmon. no I cooked up all the salmon I had half the smoked salmon I still haven't done the scallops but uh, I, th I think when I got home I did my bacon and eggs got that out of the way and then for dinner later on I did the uh, whole piece of chunk of salmon but I only ate half of it and I ate the other half last night and then I ate about a half of the smoked salmon which was amazing I'm gonna be buying that every time I go there and uh, ooh, somebody got busted this is a uh, this area there's always a police officer here because it drops from 80 kilometers an hour to a 60 and uh, but he nailed somebody so I didn't have to worry about it I'm, I'm doing the speed limit but it's just uh, like almost every time I drive through here there's a police officer because people just because it's the country there's nothing here and so people just go up to 80 and no problem and uh, I forget that it's a 60 zone but uh, anyway so yeah I had uh, the salmon and it took me a lot longer to cook the salmon than I thought usually it's you know I think three to four minutes aside and then it's done start on the skin side like we've talked about in the past salt pepper and butter at the end and uh, then you go to cut into it to see if it's cooked all the way through nope flip it over again another three minutes flip it over again another three minutes check nope another three at least at least 18 minutes <laughs> cooking it and I didn't have it on super high or anything because it was a really thick piece of salmon didn't want to like destroy the salmon on one end anyway so I had that uh, then yesterday I had the leftovers and uh, it was a good good dinner and then I watched uh, Star Wars 1 Star Wars 2 and then tonight I'll probably watch whatever's in line I'm, I went on Disney Plus and I'm starting to go through all the Star Wars stuff I'll probably skip over the the animated um, series because I, I just I tried it years ago and I just couldn't get into it so I'll be missing out on some of the storyline but uh, I prefer to watch the real people movies anyway so right now I'm just going into Bradford here to work out uh, and uh, at the good life I was gonna go up and, and do it in in um, Bradford or sorry Barry but uh, I want to tie that in with a video that I want to make for you guys top secret uh, there's a bunch of videos I want to make for you guys. I just don't have any time and I'm, again, I'm down to 206.5. I'd like to be back under 200 by my birthday, which is May 6th. And uh, apparently Thomas Becca's birthday is May 6th too. So we'll be celebrating on the same day. So I'll look forward to that. Anyway, let's get into this place, work out, burn some calories and uh, then go home and eat some more food. I took out a whole bunch of chicken thighs and I still have my scallops that I gotta cook up.
Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Well, I don't think it's going to stop raining. It's been raining for two days now, I think. Probably off and on. I guess I haven't noticed if it's actually stopped. But our ditches are flooded, our backyard's flooded, between the houses is flooded, streets are flooded. It's flooded everywhere. <laughs> Let's just say that. It's flooded everywhere. So, got all my stuff in that I wanted to get in. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to turn this off. I accidentally hit segments and I just started and I hit it and I guess I hit it again so I was making a segment as if you're like jogging and you're like keeping track of how far you go in a certain amount of time but they're back to back so it's like segment one segment two and it's like oh dude stop so uh it looks like we did I forgot to actually to hit the uh, traditional training uh, traditional strength training on my watch. Uh, so I missed out on all my chest work and my shoulder work. And then, yeah, so my active calories were a lot less. So 236. But I managed to get all the things I needed to get in today. And uh, now it's time to go home, eat some chicken, some scallops, and uh, yeah, relax. Watch another Star Wars movie. Have you ever done a Star Wars marathon? Let me know in the comments below. Because uh, I've done it a few times in the past. I think it's the first time I started right from the beginning. I'm going to go all the way up to... Um, I guess the last one was... The Return of Skywalker, I think. Alright. Thanks guys for hanging out with me. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again in the next vlog. Ciao.